these are the lambs that were born in the last couple days. Most of them are twins. We had a few singles. One set of triplets. And we try and keep these pens well bedded so they're nice and dry. A bucket of water in each for the ewes. And we give them some uh, second cutting hay. And they can eat it or they can use it for bedding. But they pretty well eat it up. And in the barn here we got uh, about 90 ewes. About half of them have lamb now. The other half has to lamb in the next few days. And in the corner, with that many sheep in this tight barn, I like to have that uh, shade cloth over the doorway. And it keeps the wind out. And unless there's a south wind, even that lambing pen is pretty well protected. If you get a south wind, I don't use that pen for a couple of days. But once they're nursing and out of these pens, then I put them over in a kindergarten pen where there's a lot of ewes and a lot of lambs. And we keep an eye on that and make sure that they're all nursing. And we'll make that pen a little bigger tomorrow. And then the next day we'll probably start a new kindergarten pen. And the group of ewes that has to lamb, they're going to get smaller. Or the, the group will get smaller. So eventually we'll just have the, the group that has to lamb locked in and then the ewes with lambs can go in and out of the barn. But it's fairly cold yet. Uh, it's going to be about zero tonight. So I want to have they're all locked in here in the barn, and it's uh, it's warm and cozy in here, but it's it's nice fresh air because of the shade cloth, and then the hay mow holes are open. I don't don't have them covered up, so there's pretty good airflow through here, but there isn't any breeze, so any drafts or anything is tough on lambs, but I don't like the air to get stagnant and uh, where you can smell ammonia or sheep manure. It's pretty fresh in here.